the siege of Metz lasting from 19 August 27 October 1870 was fought during the Franco-Prussian War and ended in a decisive Prussian victory. Background After being defeated at the Battle of Gravelotta, Marshal Byzine retreated into the defences of Metz. There he was besieged by over 150,000 Prussian troops of the 1st and 2nd Armies on 19 August. The French attempted to break the siege first at Nisville and again at Bellevue but were repulsed each time. Prelude Napoleon III and McMahon formed the new French army of Chalons to march on to Metz to rescue Byzine. Napoleon III personally led the army with Marshal McMahon in attendance. The army of Chalons marched northeast towards the Belgian border to avoid the Prussians before striking south to link up with Byzine. The Prussians, under the command of Field Marshal Count Helmut von Moltke, took advantage of this maneuver to catch the French in a pincer grip. He left the Prussian first and second armies besieging Metz, except three corps detached to form the army of the Meuse under the Crown Prince of Saxony. With this army and the Prussian Third Army, Moltke marched northward and caught up with the French at Beaumont on 30 August. After a sharp fight in which they lost 5,000 men and 40 cannons, the French withdrew towards Sedan. Having reformed in the town, the army of Chalons was immediately isolated by the converging Prussian armies. Napoleon III ordered the army to break out of the encirclement immediately. With McMahon wounded on the previous day, General August de Crot took command of the French troops in the field. The army of Chalons was trapped and destroyed at the Battle of Sedan. Siege Bazine was forced to surrender his entire army on 27 October because of starvation. Without this, some historians have argued that there is high chance that the French would have won the battle. Prince Friedrich Karl and the Prussian Second Army were now free to move against the French force in the Loire River area. The siege is commemorated by the Sieges Marsch von Metz, which uses parts of the Diwotem Rhine. One notable figure present on the Prussian side was the prominent philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche, who served as a medical attendant. Nietzsche contracted both diphtheria and dysentery during the siege, worsening his already poor state of health.